I think looking at my face you can assume that I'm gonna try something different today. Ever since I'm on my skincare journey, I've only used a chemical peel from Dot and & Key and that's it. But today from this day, I am gonna try something like more strong in chemical peels. Okay, I'm a bit excited and nervous at the same time and this is this minimalist AHA BHA PHA 32% peel and you guys. The moment I got it, I didn't even open it because I wanted to open it in front of you and with you. Yeah, let's open it. So here it is. The minimalist packaging, they are so satisfying to tear off. You know, to be very honest, ever since I'm on my tretinoin journey, so yeah, here is my tretinoin. So ever since I'm on my tretinoin journey, I'm kind of using chemical peels uh, less frequent. I'm not that frequent with my chemical exfoliants that much because yeah, tretinoin kind, kind of mildly exfoliates the dead layer from your face. So oh my god, it looks like you, you <laughs> So it contains 25% AHA, 5% PHA and 2% BHA. It is 30 gram in quantity and it retails for $6.99 but I got it from Foxy and discount because I'm a Foxy age member. Yeah, I save a lot of money on skincare nowadays. So this is how it is and it comes in a dropper like packaging. Okay. You know, to be, to be, to be very honest, I don't like the color. I really don't like the color at all. You know, I was not really a physical scrub fan, never actually, no, never, like, I've never applied any sort of physical scrubs on my face, because the moment I understood skincare, chemical peels were already on trend that moment. Chemical peelings are the first and initial sort of exfoliations that I ever done on my face. And I have prepared my face already, and it is night time, because we should use the chemical peelings at night time, and it is currently 11 at night, wow. So I've cleansed my face properly. I've double cleansed it with my DHC cleansing oil. Let me let me let me show you. It's here. It's here. Yeah, this day is it. This is my all-time favorite cleansing oil. Then I wash my face with my Skina face wash. I am loving this face wash nowadays. This is a gem, and the consistency is like love-like. As it is a pretty strong exfoliant, so I need to protect my eye areas and lips. So I don't have Vaseline with me right now because I'm not home currently. And I only have this baby. So it is 11 dot and let's start. Yeah, so this is my demo and review in one video. Let's start with the nose first. I am nervous as F. I am literally, wow. It has no such fragrance. No, it has a bit, you know, a, a acidic fragrance and Wow, it is, I know it is a chemical peel, but it's like I'm applying a serum on my face. It is moisturizing too. What the heck? So yeah, I'm done applying it evenly on my face and it is 11 one and I'm gonna wait for nine minutes. Yeah, nine minutes because this is a strong peel. Chemical peels should be applied on dry face and I had my face dried up completely when I used that stuff on my face. You know how most of the minimalist products are, uh, you need to finish their serums and everything, especially everything within six months after opening. And this is free from fragrance, silicone, paraben, sulfate, dyes and essential oil. I got a little tiny breakout and it's my period breakout and there's no one in the entire world who doesn't got period breakouts. It's normal, normal, normal thing. So far, there's no tingling or burning sensation. It's like I've applied nothing on my face. It is so comfortable on my face. It's like, um, it's like a moisturizer to be very honest. First time I'm going for 32%. Before that, I only used to use 12% chemical peeling and it's 32. I know it is like a long jump, but Again, the fact that I did not exfoliate my face for around a month, I think. I'm gonna update you next morning too, like if it gives me any sort of breakouts or not. But again, I'm gonna apply a hell of a lot of soothing, calming, moisturizing ingredients on my face. Yeah, I'm nervous. Four minutes and five minutes to go. You can use it not only on your face, but also on the other parts of your body. Uh, for example, like knees, elbows, on your underarms. But I don't think it is going to be a good option for underarms because this shit is like, yeah, it is a strong chemical peel. I think it is a strong chemical peel. So yeah, don't use it on your 
underarms use it on your body you can use it on your tanned hands and like a tanned feet and like yeah but don't use it on your underarms i think it's a bad idea i'm touching my face and it's like i've applied an oil on my face like it literally it, it literally feels oily right now you know i'm gonna be honest with you guys when i first tried the dotton key chemical peel for the first time and that time i didn't have any existing youtube channel and i wasn't into like skincare much and the moment when i applied it like initially my face was like burning like it like i, I felt burning sensation but now that i'm trying this the burning sensation it's nowhere and minimalist i love you as a brand like you are an ingredient based skincare company like you guys know what you're doing and what you're formulating thanks to you i'm not obsessed with ordinary like not at all but yeah i do want to try the ordinary chemical peel because the red color uh, it was like it went viral on tiktok i think uh, two or three years ago uh, I, I really want to try the ordinary chemical peel yeah the red one it's like vampire it's like you are a vampire and you are putting blood on your face and it is cool you know like the texture and the color it is cool i think pilgrim has one and the chemical peel also red in color i don't know i think i am right guys it is 11 8 and i'm gonna wash my face within a minute and i'm gonna update you too that i'm done with my freaking exams and i am so happy you know when you are a content creator and you need to read and you like uh, and and again you need to make videos but you want to balance everything up and you and you need to cook too because you are somewhere else away from your home and then you need to do everything by yourself like you need to cook you need to clean you need to do everything by yourself and it is hectic thing I, like i'm so tired at the end of the day that i don't want to like watch youtube or like uh, do scroll insta like i'm so done with that day that i just want to lie on my bed and i just want to sleep and it's still 11 8 wow like i am chatting a lot today hope my mic is okay because my mic is like i don't know what is wrong with my mic too nowadays and yeah it's 11 9 and i'm gonna go like i'm gonna wash my face and i'm gonna be right back you guys i'm done washing my face but there's a thing like the moment i splashed water on my face the the peel it was gone like it was completely gone from my face like i i didn't really have to rub my face to like uh, clean it totally the dot and key one took time and this one it is super fast to take off okay if i touch my skin it is feeling smooth quite smooth like a bit more smoother than before but not really super duper smooth that uh, my face is shining and lights are coming out of my face it, it's not that smooth but yeah it is feeling smooth and soft and like smoother than before i hope i don't get breakouts next morning but yeah i'm gonna do my skincare right now so first i'm gonna use this keep cool and soothe toner this is my soothing toner like when uh, my skin is irritated this is my savior next is this cosrx nail music and this is my staple skincare routine and i think you guys know this too next is this multi-peptide serum from minimalist again and uh, this is my boyfriend nothing absolutely nothing can beat this glow Finally, I'm going with the Ceramide Moisturizer and they have mentioned it in their packaging too. Like, yeah, here it is. Like, go for Ceramide 0.3% Repair Cream and yeah, I'm going with the Repair Cream right now. Combination of Peptide Serum and Ceramide Moisturizer, it is chef's kiss. I feel like it is the best duo that you can go for any skincare. I can't believe like I've tried something so strong. And my skin is still not feeling itchy or irritated or like flaky nothing nothing it is like as smooth as baby's butt finally going with the lip balm because i've got like the most chapped lips in the asia and here i am done with my skincare routine guys oh uh, yeah this is it if you like this video don't forget to like this video but yeah i'm gonna update you in the morning and that's it for today and i love you so much